Hey guys, Joe with Orlando Home Finders, and today I'm showcasing a fantastic home that's located in a luxury 55 plus gated community here in St. Cloud. So this is a beautiful home. It reminds me of some of those design custom homes and really it feels that because you can see behind me, this kitchen is so upgraded. It has the volume height, 11 foot ceilings, just under 3,200 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, and a three car oversized garage. If you want to see this home, give me a call 407-484-8458 or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. Hey guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications, like this video, and comment below. That's for now, enjoy the tour. So this is your exterior elevation. You can see it's covered with those beautiful trees, but as we get closer, three car garage with the driveway, with the paver driveway, brickwork on the front face here and on the columns. Eight foot glass door. This foyer makes a statement. And let me show you why. You have the oversized window and then it vaults up to about 15 feet. You have all that trim work, all the design up there. Chandelier, love it. It is gorgeous. So this house is gonna wow you as it wowed me. Wow. <laughs> Can I say that again? Wow, it is gorgeous. Beautiful hardwood floors going throughout this area. In the front of the home, hello, you have this office flex space den. 11 feet standard, guys, on this floor pan. Again, you have the hardwood flowing into this flex space office. Flex space stands, but it's your office right now. I will take it. Oversized windows, three oversized windows in the front with a transom above that. Trim work on that wall. You can see it trims around those paintings, with those picture frames. And then you have another window to let in a ton of natural light. It's all about the natural light sometimes. For me, I gotta have it. We're in Florida, we want that natural light. Again, the trim work over here. And then, let's get into this main space. Let's just stand here for a second. Each of these homes that I filmed out this week just got bigger, so open concept, upon open concept this really feels like a custom home guys so when you go into custom homes you have 10 feet but anything over 10 feet really feels custom and if you design it properly you can get this feel but wow this is like a million dollar home design look at this kitchen enormous island you have six seats right here on this curved island so you have this black and white you have the crystal black quartz on top of your white cabinets that just pop. This kitchen is gourmet, gourmet. All right, so this is what you get in those multi million dollar homes. But this is not a multi million dollar home. Shaker style oversized cabinets with the brushed handles and poles. 70, 30, 
farmhouse cast iron sink, oversized pendant lights, just looking over this entire space. As I back up, you'll see you have 42 inch cabinets and then you have the upper cabinets with the crown molding. High end Samsung appliances. This is the microwave and oven above. Combination microwave and oven. This is a gas community. Five burner. It has a little microwave, I didn't even notice that. So you have your industrial range hood right here in this frame. This is how you design, right? You have your glass cabinets surrounding your cooktop, right? So that is a centerpiece that you wanna see here. You have the lights inside the cabinets, you have the undermount lights, and then you have the subway tiles with the gray grout, 50-50 pattern. A lot of things here that I always say is get the, the pot drawers and if you can, soft close. Wow. I'm definitely gonna take a picture of this. Back here again, let's go over here. You have your beverage buffet area here. Wine refrigerator, wine rack, glass shelvings. Upgrades upon upgrades upon upgrades. All right, let's go back here. Tucked away in the back is your walk-in pantry. More shelves over here. Good size pantry, true walk-in, which is great. Valet area and then laundry room. Okay, so when your laundry room is upgraded like this, it's deserving of this house. This laundry room is truly deserving of this house. You have your slate, tile floors, and the 50-50, white cabinets, white stone quartz. I love this, it's like a pebble stone quartz. Yeah, stainless steel undermount sink, and upgraded cabinets with your crown molding. That is cool, cool, cool. This is a beautiful home. Very custom feel without the custom. Garage door open. Oversized three car garage. Love it. You have three cars and a golf cart. Let's go back this way. Man, let's keep going. <coughs> let's start with this family room. Love the interior design with the natural floors, the navy couches, and all of this wood furniture. Interior design is fantastic right here. Doing a walkthrough around here. Three oversized windows on this wall. You could just feel the volume. Let's go to the corner here. The volume of this ceiling 11 feet you don't even need to have a tray ceiling in here tray ceiling would bring it to another which uh would be nice right here in the family room at least but yeah yes so you have two quad sliders does not pocket we'll get to that in a second we did not hit any bedrooms yet guys so the bedrooms are in the back of the home and the side of the home this is your formal dining. I'm not sure if you would call that a kitchen nook, but it's formal dining with your chandelier. You can make it a kitchen nook because it is off the kitchen. And it's right in front of these gorgeous quad sliders and all that natural light. I'm gonna come back here in the corner and give you this view. Okay, let's get to our first bedrooms. So in this corridor here, tucked in here, we have our first bedroom. 
nice and bright, great interior design here. Okay, so you have your recess lights with your speakers, definitely upgrade. Carpeting, standard, and then five and a quarter inch baseboard. Standard closet. People ask me to open closets or go into closets. There you go. Kind of weird. Okay. That's the HVAC over there. The linen closet over here. Go to the shared bath here. Cool. You have your tan quartz, the pebbles, you your tan quartz, upgraded light fixture, rectangular undermount sink, shaker style cabinets with a brush handle and pole, slate in a 50 50 single faucet and then your toilet back here let's check out this this is cool so this is wood look tile floor but you can also put it on the wall so if you put it on the wall it's going to cost more if you had that on the floor where's the walls then it would cost a little bit more all right so let's go to this is a nice corridor nice and wide not cramped up at all okay another bedroom here love the trim work on the walls twin beds and that single window so sometimes when you come into the models you'll be like hey it's so bright in here even when it's dark and that's the thing, you have the recess lights. This has the speaker, this is your standard closet. Carpets in the room, upgraded flooring out here. This is hardwood floors in the main area. All right, so before we go into the primary room, let's check out this resort style backyard. Okay, so this is the same. Both sides will quad sliders, but they just open up here in the center, right? Same thing. Florida living. Look at this oversized lanai. So it's split in two. You can see you have the support in the support beam in the center here. And it gives you that separation of these areas. But this is your dining kind of area and your cooking area, summer kitchen, upgraded galore. So you have the brick surround, you have your quartz countertop, you have your grill, industrial range hood. This has the pre plumb for the sink. Now this has the sink and then your power outlets. Also has your refrigerator. Man, there's so much here. So another thing is a lot of people forget to do is the recess lights and your fan pre-wires. So that is, as you can see, done here. Upgraded travertine and a 50-50, 12 by 12. Those are, and then have you seen a pool like this? When have you seen a pool like this? Multi level sun shelf with the dipping, jacuzzi. So you have your, these are like quartz. This is a quartz 
pool. Man, so you have that freestanding waterfall jacuzzi tub. And what? All the way around, this is like a free, what? Waterfall all the way. So you have the waterfall freestanding pool. That is a hard thing to do, man. That is custom and that is upgraded. I don't even know how to say how hard that is to do. But you can see right now that that waterfall goes into that little path. This is a huge backyard. So this is a shallow, shallow home compared to the other homes. You can see how far out that comes. Fully upgraded with your travertine. Beautiful landscaping with the palm trees. What? That's amazing. I want to jump into that pool. It is pretty hot. Pretty hot and that looks amazing. Okay. Last but not least. Okay, let me step back here. You have a grand entry going into your primary. You have your French doors. Then you have this little area. You could make it into a little seating area. Tray ceiling, crown molding, a feature mirrored wall. And let's get into this space. Absolutely grand. So this has a tray, it looks like a drop tray, but that has the crown molding inside the tray or below the tray. Then you have the trim work, chandelier, three windows, oversized windows at the back here. Two windows behind the primary. Look at how expensive this is. Let me back up. Primary closet with your California style shelves. This has the light trim, light wood look trim. Standard would be carpet in the bedrooms. Then you have your hardwood going into the closet as well. That's an upgrade. You have a little coffee station over here. Another primary closet, anybody? Great sized. It even comes beyond this door, behind this door. And then Eight foot doors just make a huge difference. Primary bath. So you have your top mount sinks with your crystal black quartz. These are vestibule sinks, vessel sinks. Upgraded light features, light fixtures. Oversized shower with your frameless glass. This is a huge shower. Frameless glass. I like when they do polish. So you polished in the primary is great to do. So this is his and her. This has the body shower here. Towel going all the way to the ceiling. And then you have the Listola strips on each side. Body shower. And another shower, shampoo niche, transom window, rain head shower. Yes, I am in here. Again, shampoo niche, the polished tiles in the horizontal diagonal for the diagonal pattern, and then the triple Listello. It's actually a quad Listello. Really awesome. 
Hey guys, what do you think about this gorgeous home? I am blown away by it. It feels so custom with these 11 foot ceilings. It gives you so much volumes. So this is a one story, under 3,200 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, and it has a three car oversized garage. Fully upgraded galore. As you can see that they designed this like a model should be designed. And if you want to see it, give me a call 407-484-8458 or email me at orlandohomefunders at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications. Like this video and comment below. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the tour. Have an amazing day and I'll see you around the neighborhood.